Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we are going to discuss regarding a problem that is on vectors. The problem is like this. It is given that there are three sets of the vectors in the problem. These are the following sets of vectors. 3 Newton, 5 Newton, 10 Newton, 4, 7 and 12, 2, 6 and 5, 5, 8 and Newton. The question is which of these three forces can keep a particle in equilibrium? Let us try to analyze this problem by solving this problem. Say, so, let us consider, I don't know which is a correct answer. Let us consider the first one itself is an answer. I want to check the first option. How I want to check the first option is, we are having a particle of mass m. Say, on this particle, there are three forces acting simultaneously. This is 3 Newton this is phi newton in three different directions and there is another force 10 newton i would like to check now whether the given particle of mass m can be in an equilibrium or not now let us see what is going to happen on this particle there are two forces acting one is phi newton another one is 3 newton then this 3 and 5 at the best can apply a maximum force of 5 Newton comma 3 Newton can give you maximum of how much you know when theta angle equal to angle between the two vectors is 0 resultant of the two vectors is P plus Q so they can give you at the best 8 Newton so that 8 Newton assuming angle between them equal to 0 can act this way whereas the downward force acting is 10 Newton so the downward force is more so the body cannot be in equilibrium therefore they cannot keep system in equilibrium they cannot keep the system in equilibrium I need not check that way. You may think that why shall I consider 5 and 3 on the top. Let us consider say for example 10 Newton here of the same set of the forces. Some 5 Newton here. And the remaining force 3 Newton here. You can check this way also. Now you can say this 10 and 5 at the best can give a maximum of P plus Q it is 15 Newton you can give you a minimum of P minus Q and the angle between them is 180 that is 10 minus 5 that is 5 Newton so whatever may be the angle between this 10 and 5 the resultant of that 2 will be in between 15 Newton and 5 Newton but have you noticed the downward force acting is 3 Newton whereas the upward force depending on the angle between them is in between 15 Newton and 5 Newton so 3 Newton cannot compensate either 15 Newton or 5 Newton or any value in between 15 and 5 that implies you can say the system is not equilibrium am I right? <coughs> the system is not in equilibrium like that we need to check each of the options that is available so let us see this option say for example 4 and 7 can give you at the best 11 the other force is 12 newton therefore 11 cannot compensate 12 therefore they cannot keep the system in equilibrium see this 5 and 8 can give you at the best of 5 plus 8 that's nothing but equal to 13 and can give you a minimum of 5 minus 3 8 minus 5 3 Newton but this is nothing but equal to 1 Newton therefore this 1 Newton cannot be cancelled by even any resultant force between 13 and 3 therefore this cannot be in equilibrium this way have already checked it cannot be in equilibrium this 4 and 7 is going to give you 11 
4 minus 7 is going to give you 3 but this has to be compensated by 12 which is also not possible so the only possibility that is remaining is this let us evaluate this also option 3 let us try to evaluate and there is 2 newton here there is 6 newton here the another force acting on the body simultaneously is 5 newton when 2 and 6 are acting simultaneously they can give you a maximum of the resultant could be in between 2 plus 6 8 newton and 6 minus 2 4 newton means what by arranging these two with a particular angle what is that angle is not at all a problem I can get an answer anything in between 8 and 4 our 5 is also in between 8 and 4 so somewhere for an angle I can get a 5 Newton this 5 Newton and that 5 Newton can cancel each other that implies the system can be in equilibrium so it is possible to get an equilibrium only with this set of the forces not with the another set of the forces Thank you for uh, watching. Come back. We'll be solving more and more problems as we are going ahead further. Thank you.